All right, guys, yesterday we shot a video on the P365 by Sig Sauer, and we wanted to use that video to address the primer drag issues that we've been seeing and hearing about on the P365 in general. Now, what I did is I shot a video that actually showed that there were primer strikes on mostly subcompact type pistols like the P365, which included the P365, the Glock 43, and the Smith & Wesson MMP uh, shield. What I'm gonna do today and I'm going to try to make this as quick as I can. I know sometimes my videos get a little long, so I want to do this as quickly as I possibly can. I want to describe to you what a primer drag actually is. Okay, guys, what I've done here is I've taken my SIG P365 and I've taken a recoil spring and a guide rod out of it so that I can manip manipulate the slide without any issues. I've also taken a spent piece of brass from yesterday that has the primer drag on it from this P365 just to show you how it works. Now, as you can see, the extractor is holding my brass in place all right that's what i want to show you if you notice i can get that thing that piece of brass to go right back in there okay what i want to show you now is whenever you fire this thing okay that's in battery right there whenever you pull the trigger it sends your striker hits your firing pin and your firing pin goes forward and obviously it hits your primer on the back of your casing as soon as that happens this thing breaks battery and if you'll notice Notice how your barrel cocks down. See how the barrel drops? Watch it again. See how it's in battery, how it's up high? Now it unlocks to get out of battery right there. Again, forward, it's in battery. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but hopefully you can right here. Look at the top of the barrel in correlation with the top of the slide. Notice how it drops when I pull back. One, two, three. See how it drops? Okay, when it drops down like that, just in that split second moment in time, if that firing pin is still protruded at all, even the slightest little bit, when this barrel is unlocking, that's going to drag your primer, uh, or drag the firing pin across the primer going up. In other words, the firing pin stays in place. Firing pin's almost where you look right here, your extractor is on the outside. It's almost even with that. So this moves down but this stays in place so if that firing pin stays out even a split second again if you notice that's going in battery and as soon as that firing pin hits bam this thing starts to go back like that and you see it drop so when it pulls out like that and this thing gets thrown out you've got your stripe on it which where is where your firing pin drags across the top of that primer what you've got is essentially this brass is inside there and when the gun is being fired your firing pin is coming across here hitting it when it hits it as soon as it hits it your lug unlocks if you notice how the barrel this part of the barrel if you notice when you're shooting the gun the barrel is straight it's parallel with your frame firing pin hits and when it hits this thing unlocks and it cocks like that it cocks down cocks downward so your your frame is literally staying horizontal while your barrel kicks up like that and at the same time this firing pin has stayed in the same place so now the firing pin which was up here or right here now is dragged across the back side of that thing before the slide has a chance to continue going back so the slide has just broken at that point now it comes back of course the extractor is going to grab the, the spent casing and throw it out at that point um i don't know maybe it is just a subcompact thing if it is a subcompact thing now it throws that other little wrench into your plans as to do i want to be carrying a subcompact now granted we're not hearing about firing pin failures failures on a whole lot of other uh, pistols out there but if a firing pin is dragging that much and you're shooting a lot, like if you do intend on shooting a lot with your carry gun, that's telling me that you're stressing that firing pin. If you are getting drags like this consistently and every single time, no matter how good the gun is, the metal is still being tested over and over and over and over again. There's a potential issue that you could be weakening it every single time. Again, I'm not picking a brand to point at, at at all at this point. I'm saying any brand that's having primer drags might be something worth looking into.